Hi, and welcome to another Ping Plotter Cloud tutorial. My name is Tyson North. I'm a customer success engineer here at Pingman Tools, and today I'm going to teach you how to use LiveShare. LiveShare is the best way for you to share your Ping Plotter Cloud data. It allows you to create a link which you can distribute so that you can easily share read only access to the data. I'll start by showing you how to create a live share from a single target. This is helpful if you have an end user who is having issues connecting to a specific service, like voice over IP. To create the live share, you first need to open the target. Once on this view, you'll need to decide what exactly you want to share. You could share live data or a specific time range. You could even run insights and share those results. The basic idea here is that what you see is what you get. Whatever you are looking at on this page is what the end user will see. If I'm looking at live data when I create the live share, then the end user will see the live data. If I've got insights open, they'll see the same results I see. Before creating the live share, I'm going to open insights and see what results I get. This will help me quickly locate the problem and highlight it on the timeline graph. Looks like we've got a problem within the local network. I'll now create the live share using this dropdown. I can give it a friendly name, an expiration date, and add some notes before I create it. This URL will now open up to the same page that I was looking at. End users will have read-only access to the data. They'll be able to interact with it, but they won't be able to change anything. Now that you know how to share a single target, I'll go over how to share a group of targets called a summary. You first need to create the summary and then add some targets to it. Same basic principle applies here too. What you see is what you get. Let's open the timeline graph for these targets and then create the live share. This URL will open at the same view we just had. These live shares are great for creating a simplified dashboard that you can put up in the bullpen for everyone to see. If live share isn't your thing, then maybe I can persuade you to use the snapshot tool. This allows you to capture a static image of the viewing window. Same thing here. What you see is what you get. Set your window how you like, open the share menu, and select snapshot. A PNG image will be downloaded to your computer. Attach it to a ticket or other document for easy record keeping. Congratulations, you're now an expert on using LiveShare. Use these links to help others understand what you're looking at. Don't waste your time arguing with them. Just show it to them. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at support at pingman.com. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, happy pinging.